and we'll have our opening hymn. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So again, good morning. And what a fantastic morning the Lord has blessed us with today. As we were walking around, we said, well, this is definitely the first day of summer. It's really, really lovely. So we're blessed to have such a lovely day that God is shining on these boys and girls who are about to receive Jesus for the first time today. So I'm going to invite you to be seated, please. And I'm going to invite um, their teacher, Miss Wheeler, now to come forward. And you're going to call the children by name. And please stand in your seat then when your name is called. Alex Salmon. Brandon Salmon. Callum Hurley, Chantal Hollis, Devon Hoy Malloy, Evie Salter Scully, Faye Nolan, Freya Sweeney, Gabia Poldavate, Gabriella Aziva, Daniela Aziva, Hannah Saraska, Hannah Hockney, Jacob Kamek, Lacey Little, Ruzenka Hritskova, Boris Hritskova, and Sammy McGuire and Olin. Great. We all here. It's like a roll call there. Um, thanks, Miss Whelan. And just to say, guys, you scrub up great. And girls, um, you look really, really good. So um, lovely to have you today. This is your special day. This is the day that Jesus is going to come into you heart for the first time. Okay. And we want to be ready for this celebration. Okay. A lot of work has gone in. Miss Whelan and Miss McCarthy beforehand have worked really hard with you, preparing for you for this day. And I've been very impressed, by the way, because you've come to our, some of our masses here on the weekday and also our special masses last Sunday, for instance, and I saw you how well you were prepared. You've been preparing at home as well, and we had some special meetings with you and your parents um, earlier in the year, and we tried to learn a little bit more and more about what Mass is about. And thank you, parents, um, for coming to those meetings to try to help you as well um, for this important day. But you've also prepared, I'm sure you have parties afterwards, and the hairs are all done, and the guests are invited, and a lot of preparation has gone as well. A lot of work has gone into it here in the parish as well, um, with Katrina and Suzanne from our parish team, huge effort put into today. But also too, Catherine, our sacristan was in here late last night, polishing and getting everything, cleaning everything ready so that the church would be lovely for you today. And then the men outside had the grounds lovely and clean as well, and also putting up flags and whatever. Our children's choir have been practicing for a number of weeks now so that this will be a special day for you as well. So lots and lots of preparation, guys, goes into today. Okay, don't you know that? The most important preparation today is to prepare our hearts. Okay? So I'm going to ask you all to close your eyes, and I want you to just see, is there anything that we need to say sorry for 
so that when we receive Jesus today, we'll be able to give Jesus a huge big welcome. So just think, have you been fighting? Not doing what you were told? Maybe not saying your prayers or not sharing? Keeping our room tidy? Maybe not being good at school or doing our homework? Maybe we've been mean or nasty, lost our temper. So some of these things we probably um, make mistakes in. So we're going to say sorry. The good thing about Jesus, guys, is that every time you say sorry, he will forgive you. So let's confess our sins together. So I'm going to invite all to stand as we pray this prayer together. So please join with the children. And they're learning their prayers, so we want to pray with them. So we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So now, guys, let's all pray. Everyone in the church, we're going to pray our opening prayer together. So let's all pray good and loud. God, our Father, we are gathered here as your family to remember the things Jesus said and did. We remember especially the night he gave himself to his friends in the bread of life. As we share the bread of life today, we ask you to help us to continue to grow in love for you and for one another. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well done, guys. So now all please be seated. And we're going to listen to God's word. So Chantel's ma'am, Faith, is going to do the first reading. Then the choir are going to lead us in the Psalms. We invite Faith to come forward now. And also um, Hannah's mom, Linda, is going to do the second reading. So if they'd like to come forward um, for the readings. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippines. Brothers and sisters, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. With thankful hearts, offer up your prayers and requests to God. Then, because you belong to Christ Jesus, God will bless you with peace that no one can completely understand. And this peace will control the way you think and the way you feel. My friends, keep your minds on whatever is true, pure, holy, and proper. Don't ever stop thinking about what is true, what is true worthy of praise. You know the teachings I gave you, and you know what you heard me say. So, you know what you heard me say, and and saw me do. So follow my example, and God, who give peace, will will be with you. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. On the night before he died, the Lord Jesus took the bread and said, This is my body. Then he broke the bread and shared it with the apostles. In the same way, he took the cup, filled with wine, and said, This is my blood. Then he passed the cup around and told them to drink from it. He said to them, Do this in memory of me. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In talking to you as I have done, said Jesus, I have one aim in view. I want you to know the happiness I know. I don't want anything to spoil your happiness. This is the secret of it. My secret. Your secret. Love one another as I have loved you. You are real friends of mine if you do what I have told you. This, then, is my order. Love one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. I invite you all to please be seated. Hope everybody is nice and relaxed. You know, I always ask questions. Well, my first question is for the parents and families. I want parents and families, anyone who's not a child who has made their first communion, put up hands, anyone who can remember their first Holy Communion. Hi, let me see. So an awful lot of you don't remember making your first Holy Communion. Okay, interesting. Keep your hands up, all those who have made it. I want to see. Okay. Now, I want you to keep your hands up or put up your hands, all those who still have their confirmation money. Jack Bolton down there, I still think you have, haven't you? You have. The man Jack has it. Okay, I remember my first Holy Communion well. It's amazing so many of you don't remember your first Holy Communion. Okay, because I want these children to remember their first Holy Communion today. I remember mine. And I remember that after we received our first Holy Communion, we were brought into the adjoining convent and we were given two sausages each. And that was a huge treat for us back then. Okay? It was back in the 60s, I have to admit. But um, it was a big treat. But I also remember back then, we went to Mass every Sunday as a family. Every Sunday. We got up, we had our breakfast, and we went to Mass. And then after Mass, we came home, and we had our Sunday dinner, and then we used to go 
to a football match or a hurling match. If we weren't playing, we just went um, to watch. And that was life back then for us. It's different today. It's much harder for us to go to Mass every Sunday because there's so many things on on a Sunday morning. But back then, Mass was always so important for us. And I got to love Mass. Even when I went to secondary school, um, I always tried to go to Mass every day. We would never miss Mass on a Sunday. And as I grew older and older, I got to go to Mass for really a special reason, because I loved Mass dearly. I wanted to go because it was part of my week, but also because I knew that Jesus was there in a very, very special way every time I go to Mass. And I hope, boys and girls, that as you grow older, you will really appreciate the importance of taking time out to go to Mass and to say your prayers and to receive Jesus in Holy Communion. Okay? It's very much about... Um, Holy Communion is about the bread. You've been receiving the bread all week, but it's not blessed. But it will be blessed today. It'll become Jesus. And you know, food, guys, is very important. I want you to look on the screen, boys and girls, and tell me, who do you see up there now? Who's that? Garfield. Yes, that is Garfield. What sort of food did Garfield like? Yeah? Lasagna. Yes, that's right. He used to eat his lasagna. What did lasagna make him? Well, he did, but something else as well. What was Was he a skinny cat or was he a fat cat? <laughs> was he? He was a fat cat. So, guys, spinach makes you fat. So, put up hands, mammies, all who has, um, or uh, lasagna makes you fat, sorry. Put up hands, all who has lasagna today for dinner. No, good, so that's grand. But anyway, what is it again? Who's this next guy? Mammies will remember that. Who's that? Popeye. Yeah, well done, Hannah. Popeye. And what's Popeye's girlfriend's name? Mammies and daddies. Going to tell me, Sheila? You know. Olive oil, well done. Granny Sheila knows. Olive oil. And olive oil was very attracted to um, Popeye. And Popeye used to have to eat something because he was skinny. What did he used to have to eat to make him a bit stronger? Let us know. Spinach, well done. Spinach. So Popeye used to eat spinach, and that just to make him strong. Okay, go back again. Lasagna. What does lasagna do? Makes you fat. What does spinach make, give you? Strength and muscles. That's right. Okay. We're also knowing other vegetables are very good for us as well. Isn't that right? So carrots. Your mommy would often tell you carrots are good for you. Isn't it? What does carrots do? Wet your eyes. Well done. Good man, Callum. It, wake, it makes you eyesight better. So carrots does that. Okay, let's do onions. That's a good food as well. Onions. Makes, it does make your eyes water, but what does it do food-wise? Yeah? It makes you cry, but it, we were told onions put hairs on your chest. All right? So that's good for you. Onions. And then we have fish. Is another one. You should eat fish. What does fish good for? Yeah? Protein, yeah, it is good for protein. So if you have good protein, what do you have? Good for your brains. Did you hear that? It's good for your brains. So you remember them all again? Lasagna makes you fat. Spinach makes you carrots is eyesight. Onions puts hairs in your chest. Fish is fish gives your brains. Okay, we've gone to the food. Now we're going to another type of food. And the next type of food we're coming to is bread. 
Okay, bread. Okay, there's lots of different types of bread. What's your favorite bread? Brennan's bread. Okay, good man. You're going to get a good ad there for Brennan's bread. Yeah? The holy bread is going to be a very good answer. Bread rolls. Huh? Croutons. Croissants, yes. That's nice bread too. Black bread. No one says mother's brown bread yet, did it? No, but bread anyway is very important. All the different types of bread you have. Today, guys, you receive bread. But it's a special type of bread. What does bread normally give you? You're told to eat bread. What does it give you? You forget. Go on, daddy's going to tell you. What does bread give you? Happiness, yes. (laughs) What else? You need to take bread every day because it gives you energy. Bread gives you energy. Okay, we know all of the other things. And that's why we eat bread, because we get energy. The little piece of bread that we get, you won't get much energy in that sense. But you get a special type of energy, because what will that bread become today? It will become Jesus himself. Right, right? And when you receive Jesus, how do you know it's Jesus? Because he said, what did he say at the reading that your mother read for us? <laughs> oh, you have the reading there, yeah. Yeah, and then he said, before that, <laughs> did he say, this is, this is my body? He did. So that's how we know it's Jesus. Because um, Linda read it for us there, And Jesus at the Last Supper said, this is my body. And then with the wine, he said, this is my blood. We know it's Jesus, guys, because Jesus has told us exactly that. So when you receive Jesus today, you get a special type of energy. And what's the energy? Energy to? Energy to? Yes. What's the word I'm looking for? Love. Is that right? Energy to love. Because Jesus in the gospel said, there's only one thing I want you to do, and that is to love. So every time we go to Mass, we receive Jesus, and we have energy to love, guys. That's the big thing. What does lasagna do? Real quick. Make you fat. What does spinach do? Make you strong. What does um, carrots? Eyesight. Onions. What hair in your chest? And what does fish? Brains. And what does bread? Energy. And the bread that you receive today is what? Energy to love. And that's the big thing. And that's why. And guys, all we are about today is about loving. That's all we as Christians do. We are called to love one another and we get energy every time we come to Mass to love one another. Guys, I really hope that you try to come to Mass. I wasn't able to go to Mass when I was small because unless my parents brought me. And parents, I really encourage you to bring your child to Mass. And guys, half eleven, I know you're going to have lovely parties today, but I would love if you would come to half eleven Mass tomorrow in your lovely First Communion clothes. Come to Mass and let all the parish at our family Mass tomorrow see you and clap you and wish you well. Will you try to promise, and not only tomorrow, but next Sunday, next Sunday, as often as you can. I think, guys, we do need God in our lives now, more than ever. We can't just abandon God. The best way to have God in our lives is to receive Jesus in Holy Communion, and then we will make the world a loving, loving place. Guys, remember today, because your mammies and daddies have forgot your First Communion Day already, so you remember your First Holy Communion Day, won't you? Not for the sausages you get afterwards, but the money, but because you're receiving Jesus for the first time. Okay. So please stand now, everyone, and we're going to have our prayers with the faithful. I think Miss Whelan is going to lead us now in the prayers. We pray for these children as they celebrate their first Holy Communion today. 
May they always try to live like Jesus and to grow more like him as they follow him each day of their lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask God to bless the parents, guardians and families of the children. We thank them for the love and guidance they give and may they continue to support them on their faith journey. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask God to bless the children's teachers and all who help them to come to this happy day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for Pope Francis, Bishop Dennis, and all priests and religious. Lord, give them strength and courage to lead our church. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are sick, lonely, or rejected, that as Christians we may reach out to them in the love of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Thanks, Mr. Freeland. So just for a moment, guys, let's all pray our own special prayer today. Boys and girls, what's your first communion prayer? Somebody you would like to remember today or pray for. Lord, hear us. So, Lord, these are our prayers which we make to you. We make them to Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to invite everyone, please, to be seated now. We're going to call now... um, and the bread and wine is going to be brought up to the altars. We'll just ask four of the children, Callum, Evie, Brandon, and Sammy, to go down, and Sharon will help you there, and the bread and wine will be brought to the altar. That's going to be blessed. It's going to become Jesus on the altar for us. So now pray, friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. God, our Father, we come before you with gladness and joy. Accept the gifts we bring of bread and wine, beautiful gifts from your earth. To sharing the bread of life, help us to make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. So now the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you, God, for all the good things you do for us. We thank you for all the beautiful things in our world. We thank you for the gifts you have given us. We thank you for giving us our family and friends. Especially we thank you for sending us your son Jesus to save us. And so with all the saints and the angels, we rejoice and we praise you as we say now together. So we pray, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
So now, guys, I'm going to invite everyone to please kneel. We're going to do exactly what Jesus did at the Last Supper. The bread and wine will be blessed. We're going to hear the words, This is my body. This is my blood. And then we're going to hear those very powerful words, Do this in memory of me. And that's exactly what we're doing at Mass today. And every time we come to Mass, we're doing what Jesus asked us to do. Yes, Lord, you are holy. You sent your Son into the world. He was born in the stable at Bethlehem. And he came because he wanted to tell us in our own language what we must do to be saved. He wants us to love God, his Father, and to love one another. He invites us to come to Mass today to do what he did. Father, we want you, first of all, to bless these gifts of bread and wine. Make them holy. Change them into the body and blood of Jesus. Before Jesus died, he had supper for the last time with his friends. At the last supper, he took the bread, he blessed it, and he gave it to his friends, guys, and he said these words. Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. So now, guys, the bread has been blessed. We heard the words, the bell rang. It's now no longer bread. We believe in our hearts, in our hearts, right in here, that this is now Jesus that we have with us on the altar. We're going to do the same with the chalice. Because then he took the cup, he gave you thanks, he gave the cup to his friends and he said these words. Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. And then Jesus said, he said, do this in memory of me. Then he said to them, I want you and all my followers to gather at Mass to remember what I have done for you. And he said, now do this in memory of me. So let us now proclaim together the mystery of our faith. So God, we remember with joy all that Jesus came to save, that he came to save each of us. We remember that Jesus was born, he died to save us. While Jesus is now in heaven, but he's also here on us, especially when we receive him in Holy Communion, when we come to Mass, and when we love each other. You invite us to come to Mass today, and to be filled with joy that Jesus is now with us. Remember Francis our Pope, Dennis our Bishop. We pray for all people who work for peace and who bring happiness to other, others. Help us all to be good followers of Jesus and to spread his love to all we meet. To rem today we remember to all our loved ones who have died, particularly from our own families. We would love to have them here with us today, but we know that they are now in heaven. And keep them safe for us until we will meet them again one day in heaven. And so we pray through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
That's a powerful Amen. Okay, that's why it's there. Because Amen means I believe what has happened in my heart that Jesus is now with us. So always remember that's what Amen means. Jesus is now with you. So let's all stand because we're coming near the time when they're going to receive communion. And we're all going to pray together the special prayer that Jesus gave us. We're remembering we have Jesus as our teacher. So we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin, safe from all worries, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So now the peace of the Lord be with you always. So now just make some little sign, wave at those around you, to wish them the sign of peace, God's peace today. Okay, so let's all pray together from the screens. Are you ready? Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. So now, boys and girls, and all of us, Look up here. This is Jesus. This piece of bread, for, that was a bread a few moments ago, is Jesus. All the small little pieces in the bowl, these are Jesus. This is his body and his blood. This is Jesus who today invites you to make your first Holy Communion and to receive him so that you will always have energy within you to love those around you. Happy are we to be called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and those. So now we're coming near the time, guys. So I want the boys and girls to please stand in your seats. Just the boys and girls, because we're coming to their special moment. And we want you to look up on the screen. I know you know it all by heart anyway, but let's pray together the prayer before Holy Communion. Are you ready? Out and loud. Lord Jesus, to me. Lord Jesus, give me your love. Lord Jesus, come to me and give me yourself. Lord Jesus, friend of children, come to me. Lord Jesus, you are my Lord and my God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well done. Good. Now you can kneel down again. And just to say, parents, you brought your child to be baptism, for your child's baptism, very proud moment for you. You brought your child for first penance, very proud moment. They came back and gave you a big hug, if you remember. And now today we're going to invite parents to come forward with their child. Okay. Put your two, one hand, parents, put a hand on each child's shoulder. If there's only two parents can come, if there's one, only one feel shy or whatever, not here, they can't be here, that's fine. But just one or two parents, please come up. And the, the teachers and um, Sharon and all those will direct you. So we'll, this side will move here. There'll be another family moving this side. And then you can go back down the same way. So just the parents and the child, please come up first. And then when the children have received, and um, then we'll have our Eucharistic ministers here, and then everybody else can come up and receive then. Is that okay? But guys, 
everyone, this is the special spiritual moment. Please respect everybody. They're receiving Jesus for the first time. Boys and girls, when you receive, I want you to go back to your seats. I want you to kneel down and I want to say your own little special prayer. Okay? Will you do that for me? When you go back to your seats. So again, we will try to maintain a lovely level of respect and prayer um, and quiet as the children come forward to receive.
So now, guys, um, you have received Jesus for the first time. Jesus is in you. You have energy to do what now? All shout out together. Energy to? Louder. Yeah, that's not much energy. Out and good and loud. Energy to? Love. Well done. Or love. Yeah. Energy to love. Well done. Now we're going to ask you to please stand again, just the boys and girls. And we're going to thank Jesus for coming to us. So we're going to say the prayer after communion. Are you ready together? Lord Jesus, I love and adore you. You're a special friend to me. Welcome, Lord Jesus. Oh, welcome. Thank you for coming to me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you for giving yourself to me. Make me strong to show your love wherever I may be. I mean, Lord Jesus, I ask you to pray. Most by me to ever and love me, I pray. Bless all of us children in your loving care. Bring us to heaven to live with you there. I'm ready now, Lord Jesus, to show how much I care. I'm ready now to show your love at home and everywhere. Amen. Well done, guys. Now you can be seated again. Can I say, boys and girls, coming up to communion, you were absolutely super. And you knew all your prayers, and you were really, really prepared so, so well. So thanks, Miss Whelan, and thanks, Miss McCarthy, who is joining us, and we wish her all God's blessing at this time as well. And I know she sent a lovely message um, last night to tell you all she's watching you, and she's praying for you today, and she's thinking of you, and she's celebrating with you today as well. She's watching you as well, guys, so thank you. And um, guys, I want to say as well, and saying this to the parents and families as well, Jesus made it very clear at the Last Supper, this is how he wants us to pray to him. Do this in memory of me. He wants us to come to Mass. Okay? So try and think about that. Do we, can we survive without having Jesus and God in our lives? 
Thank you, parents, for your support to our programs during the year. Also, thank you for all those who donated to run the program for our parish. We do appreciate that. We do thank you very much for that. We do hope you have a really, really super day today. God has blessed us with the sun today, so I know you're going to enjoy it. Get out on the bouncy castles or whatever you have organized for yourself now today and enjoy. Thank you also. Um, to, can I also just acknowledge and thank the parents for your support and your prayers to us. We really appreciate that. Ms. Whelan, again, thank you and the teachers. And I want to thank Mr. Brennan, Mr. Bolton, Ms. Payne for being with us as well today. They do huge work on our behalf looking after the faith formation of our children. We're so, so, so lucky and blessed to have them. So thank you, guys. Thanks to Sharon, our secretary, who's been a huge support. I want to say make sure you look on the way out the beautiful artwork that the children have done. Yesterday evening, um, the three teachers, along with Sharon, came in and put up the lovely artwork on the board. Um, each child has their own little special one that they did. Um, look at it, their name is on it, so make sure you just reflect and look at that on your way out at the end. It's, it's just really, really worth it. Spectacular. Thanks. Thanks to our children's choir up there, guys. You're super. Thank you. Um, you want a little break now, so please, yeah, Captain. Isabel has sausages for you in there afterwards because they're coming out again to sing at half twelve mass. So that's the super work to do. But everybody who prepared, I know we mentioned Mother Sarge, I'm just going to thank everybody um, so much for all the work that goes into today. I would just, again, just lastly to thank Suzanne and Katrina for their work. And the poor Clares joining us today. That's very special to have the poor Clares joining you on your first Holy Communion Day as well. They're always praying for you as well. And all the people who took the cards, who prayed for these boys and girls during the week as well. So thank you. So have a good day. At the end, um, you will be called up. The children, they'll just be arranged on the altar here. They'll take a little quick photograph and then get out, go home. And um, because there's lovely sunshine outside, we want to be ready for the second group that's coming in pretty shortly now. Okay? So please stand, everyone, and we will pray our final prayer to God. I do want to thank just Matthew on the slides and Connor and Michaela who did um, serving today. They're super to come in today. Thank you. And Catherine, our sarcastin as well. So the, we pray together. God, our Father, you have given us the bread of life. May we go from Mass to live and love as you ask us to. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. So now the Lord be with you all. And may Almighty God bless us all this day and now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So now our Mass is ended. We go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. So guys, have a super day, and thanks so much. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. So we pray now and join the choir in the final hymn. So please wait there until the end. Then you will be called up at the altar.
Now, if the boys and girls want to make their way up, up onto the altar, to the steps of the altar.